Hello, this video is going to show you how to use the basics in Desmos to find statistics. So the video is going to show us how to use Desmos to create a list, find the five number summary range in IQR, find the mean, the mean absolute deviation or the MAD, the standard deviation of a population, which is in Desmos STDEVP, and the variance, and also standard deviation of the sample, right? So sometimes you might need that for Delta math questions. So, all right, so here we go. So the first thing is we want to create a list. So you can name the list anything you want. It can be A, B, C, any letter. Um, I wouldn't use X or Y, but any variable will work. So if I use, say, I'm going to use A. So you say A equals. And then you want to use the right bracket key on your, calc on your keyboard, or left bracket. Just a square bracket and then enter the numbers you want in separated by commas so whatever your list is um, i'm just going to create a list here and do one more all right so i've got 10 numbers in my list all right and then so we're going to start with our five number summary so that we can use that to make a box plot by hand. And so we go to function and stats. And then you'll see that they have a comma here. So then you just need to put your variable in there. And there it is. There's your five, there's our five number summary. A min, Q1, median, Q3, and our max. And so you know we, we know now that if we want to find the range, we just do the max minus the min. If we want to do the IQR, we do the Q3 minus Q1. Okay. So the next thing is finding the mean. So we go function again and find mean. Here's mean. So we just put A in there once again. And there's our mean, 25.3. So this is really easy. Once you um, get your list in, it's just a matter then of finding the right thing you're looking for on your function and then plugging it in. All right, so the next thing is the MAD. So the mean absolute deviation. So it actually says MAD on here. So we just select that, put our set number in there, our list number, which is A. All right, there's our MAD. Go to another line. And we want the standard deviation for the population. Like I said, that's with the P. So this P specifically means population. But our list is A. So there's our standard deviation for the population. Now, if you want to find the variance, which is the standard deviation squared, and it's always the population standard deviation squared, not the sample one, but the population one. Now, all we have to do is go here and square that. So there's my standard deviation, 50.01. And if you forget what the variant or what the... Um, there's the variance now, 50.01. If you forget what the standard deviation is, then just get rid of the squared. And there's your standard deviation again for the population. So that's your whole set. And if you need one for a sample, we do it without the P. And we put an A there. And there's your standard deviation for a sample. So there's a video how, how to find um, your five number summary for a box plot so then you can use that to find the iqr in the range find the mean the mad standard deviation and of a population and like i said we square that for the variance and the standard deviation for a sample all right hope that helps you uh the next video i'll do another video on how to do a box plot and histogram